Hello people, it's Mahali coming to you from Up in the Lighthouse with From Dust, a game that I've only heard good things about. So, uh, let's give it a go. From Dust. So now as we're approaching the wardrobe to Narnia, as we can clearly see, it's in a very desolate desert area, so I'm sure there's, uh, I'm sure there's not going to be any water in sight. Enter the Abyss. And as we can all see, I was clearly wrong. The breath. Dali sinikita, ai siku ya pertama. Tida kata mekumo, tida ro kati ketawi, tida ro nasi naki naki, tanpa kita terpisah, ta sendiri dan dunia ni. Pertama kita ro belajar untuk lazima dunia. It's Flubber! Wow, the audio in this game is kind of impressive. So, as you can see, we play the magical snake from uh, the Jungle Book, but instead of using the ability to uh, hypnotize things on children, um, we've got the ability to. Uh, Control the elements, you know, it's a bit of an upgrade, some would say. And um, our very purpose of existence is to help these people not die. And since we're the main snake protagonist in this game, clearly it's not going to be... They're not going to be very good at living because it's more fun this way. Um, you control the snake thing with your mouse by um, moving it around so you can stalk them in the night. Uh, the sea has destroyed our path. We are stuck. Help us reach the passage. Okay. Um, you left click to pick up material, like sand and left click to dump it and you know just some good old-fashioned terraforming the easy way just using a mystical snake to do it construction companies would save a pretty penny by just using magical reptiles uh, oh yeah and they sound really annoying when they're in trouble There we go. Oh, shut up! You happy now? Good. Um, yeah, you can pick up all sorts, but at the moment it's only letting you pick up sand. Uh, you can't pick up rock, because that would be cheating, apparently. And yeah, to activate monuments and stuff, you press space. As you can probably tell, I've played this once, and um, yeah, I thought it was good. So. I thought I would share my experience of it with you. 
the internet. Oh, and they've got crackers on their faces. It's quite ingenious, actually. I mean, when I stick crackers on my face with faces carved in them, people call me crazy, but it's okay when they do it. So we have reached the island paradise. So yeah, just constructing another simple bridge for them, because swimming is too much to ask. Come on. There we go. So he gets to the totem again, press space. Come hither, townsfolk. Oh, and if you, yeah, if you press F, you can actually follow them, and it's kind of funny to watch. And, um, yeah, for convenience, instead of having to actually build things, they, uh, they just request it of the earth to make them for them. Because, you know, a bit of hard work and elbow grease isn't, uh, isn't the way to go in this game. See, what did I tell you? So, yeah. And you know, instead of being happy with what they want, uh, with what they've got, they are, uh, as human nature insists, they want more. So you have to go around building more villages and progressing to the next islands and stuff. Because it can't be that easy. So yeah, just clearing a bit of water so that they can reach the next totem. Yeah. Now, I'm going to be a nice little lizard snake thing and, you know, give them a bit of water. You know. oh, oh, what? But you're human. You need water to live. <sighs> to open the passage, we need to build a village on each of the totems. Uh, so, they're these large, erect statues. Um, I wasn't finished reading. Ugh. Uh, okay. Um, so next I suppose I'm going to build another bridge. Ugh. To, um, get some next placey thing. Um, and it's freaking annoying because the water slowly whirs down the sand. So, you've got to not take your time. As frustrating as that is. And go! Come hither, and in the meantime I'll build a bridge for you. Aren't I generous? You're doing the easy stuff. Oh, would you? There we go. How? <sighs> Alright, so this game basically plays into the whole um, uh, matter can't just disappear, uh, it's just displaced. So if you take matter from here to build something over there, then there are consequences of taking the matter from over here, because then this, as you can see, this part starts to flood. And nobody wants that. Yeah, and then it's really cool, because all the elements have their own properties, like sand, if you make a big freaking mountain out of it, it'll start, the sand will start to disperse and the mountain gets kind of small. And then the water acts like water. When the men build a village, they 
plant vegetation that spreads across the earth. The, uh, the gauge on the lower left hand corner of the screen shows progressive vegetation that spreads across the territory. Try adding earth. Okay. So basically, you make villages, add more earth around them, uh, moving the water, that way vegetation grows faster. And then as you vegetate areas. <laughs> vegetate. Doesn't sound like a word. As you vegetate areas. Um, stuff happens, like, they remember stuff about their history. Uh, you have, re yeah, you have revealed new story about the tribe to, ah, sorry, to attract animals. Hmm. But yeah, I really can't be bothered sitting around making sure that they have, you know, new wildlife pets, so I'm just going to try and advance the thingy. I'm pretty sure you can activate this. I'm not sure why it's not going to let me. But since it isn't letting me, I'm going to... Thanks. Thanks for that. Cool. Let us progress. Okay, so yeah, that's the fundamental uh, fundamental controls of the game. Um, yeah, so you act as a protector of them, you tell them where to go, and they do nothing helpful at all, except, except be slow. They're very good at that, as you'll see in a second. Just displacing... Oh, frick! Just displacing matter as you freaking do. Just place a bit there. There we go. It's that Lego, but with the elements. Sorry about that. Duty called for a second, and Duty wasn't very happy about it, so I had to ball ass and get that done. Um, yeah, as I was saying. Um, yeah. So, you control the elements, uh, save these people from sure damnation, and they're not very grateful about it, clearly by the fact that they slowly make their way to the next area. <sighs> Let's see how Timmy's doing. Yeah. It's kind of weird seeing it from their perspective, because it's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids style, where everything's massive. You're just used to just going, mm, yes, I, I am a god. What of it? We shall progress to the next area. And we are now in a place with more water. Great. Perjalama, Kami Memba Wakami, Lakini Namu, Dunkum, Yaberkutan, Game Amaji, Masi, Bergata, Yani. There are two. Okay. Uh, that'll do it for the this episode. Stay tuned for next Wednesday for the next episode of um, From Dust where we take on another island or two or three. I don't know. Depends how many we get through. Ah. Uh, please subscribe top right hand corner and um, yeah. Have a good day or night or evening depending where and when you are. Goodbye. <laughs>